Hello ladies and lovers, today I am going to talk about N. Scott Momade. He is a Kauaiwa novelist, short story writer, essayist and poet. His novel House Made of Dawn Vaughan was awarded Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1969 and is considered the first major work of the Native American Renaissance. And his fellow work, The Way to Rainy Mounted Blended Folklore with Memo. Momade received the National Medal of Art in 2007 for his works, celebration, and preservation of indigenous oral and art tradition. He holds 20 honorary degrees from colleges and universities and is a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Now, I want to talk about his major work that is The Way to the Rainy Mountain. It is a book by N. Scott Mamade and is talking about the journey of Mamade's Kiowa ancestors from their ancient beginnings in the Montana area to their final war and surrender to the United States Cavalry at Fort Sill and subsequent resettlement near Rainy Mountain, Oklahoma. If you know, it's a place in America. The way to Rainy Mountain is a blend of history, folklore, and poetic memo and was published in 1969. It takes the reader through author N. Scott Momade's own journey of discovering his Kiowa background and identity. The journey is told in three separate voices. The first voice, the ancestral voice is tells about the Kiowa by using oral traditions and myths. The second voice is a historical commentary and finally the third voice is Mamade's poetic memoir of his experiences. All three voices together teach about the Kiowa's origin, beliefs, traditions, morals, and conflicts. Not only does the journey recounted in this book help Momade better understanding his ancestry, it also teaches about the Kiowa tribe's history. The uniqueness of this text, however, has been an issue for some readers. They claim it to be confusing to follow. Others find it easy to understand by reading each individual voice. Consequently, instead of alternating from one voice to another, as the book is written, I am also trying to summarize through the paragraphs and you can see how it can be understood. The way to Rainy Mountain continues to be an entry point to Kiawe history and a way to open discussions about what constitutes any history of a people. The usefulness of the way to Rainy Mountain or classroom instruction has been a topic of debate in the academic world. In the article Inventive Modeling Rainy Mountain's Way to Composition, Kenneth Roma claims that the book is a perfect example for students learning writing composition because of the three different writing approaches that Mamade 
uses. Also, according to Romo, it is good introductory to Native American literature. For students with no background in it. Another critic, Sharon Jesse, claims that the way to Rainy Mountain can be used to demonstrate theme and plot structure in the classroom. In addition to issues of composition and structure, as you can see, the structure is provided and you can rate it in detail. The way to Rainy Mountain raises issues of how to utilize works with unfamiliar subject matter and writing styles in the classroom, Rama points out. So you can summarize all the topics and take it a glimpse of it. I hope you must go through it and help others in better understanding of the Native American literature at it counts. Thanks for listening. Thank you.